today we're going to be setting up the very first time. So as you guys know, the iPad Air was released today. It is running iOS 7, so let's go ahead and set it up. As you can see here, we have the standard hello screen where it says hello in many different languages, which the iPad supports. Let's go ahead and slide in. English as our main language. Then we go ahead and... States. We'll also go ahead and choose our Wi-Fi network, which we will connect to right now. Now, after we've typed in our password and everything is all set, it will go ahead and set up the iPad just a second, and we will go into location services. Now, if we want our location to be seen by the iPad, let's go ahead and That. And now we just go ahead and set up the iPad either by restoring from iCloud, iTunes Backup, or we can set up a brand new iPad. Which we I always like to have a new device, especially when I'm starting over with something great, just like the iPad Air or the iPhone 5S. So let's go ahead and sign in to our Apple ID. That'll just take one second, guys. sets up it'll go ahead and ask you if you want to use iCloud or not use iCloud let's go ahead and use iCloud so we can keep our backups and it'll also ask us if we want to use find my iPad just in case you lose it you can go ahead and remote wipe it from your Mac or any other computer or any other iOS device iPad it'll download automatically and over here it'll ask if you want to use uh, iMessage and FaceTime and which emails you want to use obviously I've blocked them out for normal purposes and okay now it's going to go ahead and update iCloud settings Just take a second and now it'll ask us to create a passcode for the sake of this video and being hilarious, let's just go ahead and put 6969. Yes, hilarious guys. Are you sure you'd want to use this code? Yes, we are. And then let's go ahead and repeat it, 6969. And there we go. Now it's going to ask if we want to use iCloud Keychain. I'm not going to mess with this. and set it up later obviously we want and we do not want to send diagnostics to Apple it does help Apple with a lot of things but it also helps them create blocks and uh, gates for jailbreaks so let's go ahead and not send those and it's gonna ask if we want to register the device with Apple we can go ahead and do that we'll click next Welcome to the iPad, it's going to ask us to get started, and there we go guys, that is how you set up the iPad Air running iPad. <laughs>